Hello, Michael. Uh, how good was it to get back on the ice in a game? It, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, you kind of miss getting in that competitive flow of things uh, when you haven't played in a while. So uh, it was nice to get out there and uh, be able to compete with the guys. And what was the experience like uh, right from the drop of the puck to uh, the final horn? It was good. Uh, you know, I felt better than I anticipated I would after, you know, not uh, playing for a little bit. And I felt just more comfortable as the game went on. Uh, I thought the guys battled really hard in front and uh, we did a good job of uh, clearing pucks out of our zone. Our PK uh, stepped up huge when they needed to. Uh, and all in all, it was uh, great to get out there and get the win. Next one goes to David Cisco. Go ahead, David. Hey, Michael, thanks for doing this and congratulations on the win. I was just wondering, in a big rivalry game like this between the Marlies and the Rocket, you know, it's your first game of the season with the team. Do you feel that rivalry and the kind of intensity that's been building up all season right away stepping onto the ice? Yeah, you could, uh, you could tell from the, you know, I've been down for the last uh, two games watching and uh, you can tell right away, uh, you know, it's a, it's a strange season when you're playing the same teams over and over and over again. And, uh, you know, when I played with the Marlies before, uh, we always had a good rivalry with Laval and uh, the other teams in our division. And, uh, you know, the Toronto-Montreal rivalry, you know, kind of speaks for itself uh, over the years. Uh, so, yeah, you can just, uh, you know, feel the intensity, uh, you know, it's getting down to the end of the season and these guys have played each other a lot. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely intensity out there. Next one goes to Nick Barton. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, Michael. I want to ask you about the word family and what that means. I know you've been with the Leafs a bunch. You've been with the Marlies a bunch and both teams have talked about how they are essentially a family on the ice and in the dressing room. What do you see when I, when I talk about that and where does that sense of family come from? Yeah. Uh, you know, I can't really talk about that for here. I haven't been around long enough. Uh, you can know, being on the bus yesterday, a long bus trip up here, you can tell the guys uh, get along and the guys, uh, you know, uh, care for one another. And you can see it in the game with the way guys uh, step up and protect each other. Uh, you know, with the Leafs, we have a really close group of guys. Uh, and, you know, it, it works from, you know, leadership down. Uh, you know, we have a great group of older guys and, uh, you know, the younger guys are awesome. Uh, you know, for myself, uh, it's been a difficult year uh, not having my family uh, in town this season uh, with me. So, uh, you know, one of the things we do a really good job of with the Leafs is everyone kind of knows what each other are going through and uh, your own uh, personal life and kind of situation. And, you know, there's no shortage of guys at all. It's like reaching out to me wondering how, you know, wife and kids are doing back home uh, and stuff like that. So it's always good that, you know, the guys uh, care about you on a deeper level than just hockey. Next one goes to Justin Levine. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Michael, thanks for doing this. So you've taken, you know, time with Maple Leafs to play in games such as Toronto versus Montreal, which is a historic and storied rivalry as it is. So um, as you returned to the ice tonight and did so against the Laval Rocket, can you kind of run me through, you know, what goes through your head in terms of performance when you're taking on, you know, uh, a rivalry battle such as, again, Toronto versus uh, Montreal, since evidently that's what happened tonight, Marley's against the Rocket. And, you know, does that change anything for you in terms of uh, getting prepared or, you know, just these little, little extra things that you have to pay attention to uh, to get ready for, for a battle of this magnitude? Uh, for myself, personally, it's just uh, as a goal, you just have to approach it as another game. Uh, you know, like there's going to be, uh, you know, a little bit more chippiness, a little bit possibly more special teams in the game. Uh, you know, when it uh, is played at such a high level and with so much emotion on the ice, uh, but, you know, for myself as a goalie, my job is just to, you know, uh, stop the puck and uh, give the team a chance to win. And, you know, I have little things, uh, mental reminders that I go over myself uh, before the game, during the game. And uh, just these little cues. And I feel like if I do those, uh, and like I have been this year, that, uh, you know, it puts me in a good position to have success on the ice. And, uh, you know, as a goalie, that's kind of just all you really focus on is uh, your game plan and uh, just being present in the moment and, uh, you know, helping the team uh, have a chance to win.